hello everyone and welcome back to the channel so as you read by the title we'll be making potato leaves stew or feu de patate in french um paired with beef and uh, palm oil so without further ado let's begin so first we're gonna go ahead and cook the meat which was only seasoned with seasoning salt and I added about half an onion to it. Next, we're gonna add the crab, the blue crab. I washed with hot water and only seasoned with salt. So we're gonna let that cook for about 15 minutes. Then after the 15 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and give a quick stir and add the potato leaves. So the potato leaves, are uh, they're fresh. I use my food processor to cut the the potato leaves because I like I'm not good at cutting that with my hands. So I, we usually do that, but food press food processor it is. Next, we're gonna add about. I'll say two liters of water, two liters or two liters and a half of water to cook the leaves and the beef at the same time. And we're gonna give it a quick stir, then uh, cover it up and let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes. So while we have that cooking on the side, we're gonna go ahead and mix our vegetables, you know, like we usually do. So green onion, the onion, and some habanero pepper. Also, don't forget to stir it from time to time. So after that 20 to 25 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add the spinach. I usually use less spinach than this time. I just happen, you know, to use the whole packet. The spinach is not necessary, I will say. So you can skip, skip you can skip it if you want to. It's just that it tastes different. The still tastes different when you add um, sp some spinach to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover and let it cook for a few more time. Yes, there's a lot of water in it. <laughs> I just want to meet the crab and the whole thing to cook perfectly in it. So yeah, it took me some time to reduce that quantity of water. So we're gonna keep stirring it and uh, let it cook for quite some time. So I happen to have to open the, a new can of mackerel fish. So I was like, oh, let me show you guys how I usually do cause most of the time it's frozen when I use it so yeah so I use whatever I need I put that in a, a ball there and the remaining I keep in a ziplock and put that in the freezer for whenever I be cooking any type of stew then I can just grab them from there so this is how I usually smash them so I can put them in the stew while I'm cooking them if they're not frozen if they are you can just put them right into the stew that's fine Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the blended vegetables into the stew. Just add them when the water is definitely reduced from the stew. I guess I should have just wait for quite some time before adding it, but it's fine. But definitely wait when the water is kind of reduced and before adding the blended vegetables. Next, we're gonna season with seasoning salt. No, not seasoning salt, onion powder my bad onion powder and salt season to taste definitely then we're gonna add some cute magic i'm gonna add two at this time then 
later on realize that oh I'm gonna need one more so yeah next we're gonna add uh, palm oil palm oil I honestly don't know why I reduced the palm oil I didn't put the whole thing at this time again next I've been adding the remaining and a little bit more to it so we're gonna mix all these And it's currently cooking on mid high so for the heat heat setting next we're gonna add the habanero oh yeah if you do have a garden plant or I mean how do you call that one it's a different type of eggplant you can add that too now I'm adding the mackerel fish to the steel Again, if they were frozen, I will add it on at the earlier time, not at this time. But since they're not frozen, that was why I am adding it right now. So we're going to cover that, reduce it a little bit, and let it cook for quite some time. So now that I'm realizing that it's kind of starting to burn, I'm going to reduce the heat again and uh, give it a nice stir and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Okay, now at this point the water is keep reducing which is a good thing and yes, you see I'm adding more oil because yeah, I kind of feel like I, this still need more oil okra and potato leaves eat a lot of oil so yes you're gonna add a lot of palm oil in it that was the, just the maggie cube that i added so now we're gonna add shrimp powder about two tablespoons of it next two tablespoons of fish powder i love adding them to my steel it's so yummy, like it tastes really good when you add those powder in it. So we're gonna go ahead and season, uh, add some salt and uh, onion powder. So if you need to adjust your seasoning, feel free to do it at this time because the water is reduced, the oil is starting to come out. So this is really a great time to add the seasoning if you need to adjust anything, if anything is missing. So feel free to add that and taste to see how it is. So guys, uh, you're gonna let it cook for a few more minutes. And once the oil's up on the surface, the quantity of water is reduced, then you should be all set. And it also, if you do have a okra, you can also mix that okra and put it in. The fact, the reason why I didn't add to my seal is that i added a good amount of spinach so i felt no need to add okra to it so i mean if you didn't add spinach or you added less than what i did then definitely add some okra to it for more texture to the steel so this is it guys i hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe turn that bell notification on so you won't miss any video that i'll be uploading on my channel and i'll see you guys on my next one take care